Generic greetings and welcome back once again to House Flipper where the door is auto magic. Excellent. In the previous episode, we bought this bunker property which is uh, minimalist to say the least. It is a small garage with a uh, adjoining bathroom and then down in the bunker area which still has these horrible strata line things we have a decontamination area a living area for the bunker another toilet slash bathroom area and then finally an emergency exit up there so either way it is quite small and quite compact but good enough for our uh, needs and for what we want to accomplish in the series so let's go ahead and crack on we also managed to Put all of the cladding on the outside of the house, cleaned up the garden actually, we removed all of the weeds which I think we may end up uh, probably leaving, I don't think we'll do much more but we'll see, I mean there's huge like amount of land on this plot, I mean you could always extend if you wanted to. Um, yeah, we like I said we managed to clean the windows, clean everything up actually, remove all the dirt and grime and horribleness and then put the, uh, the walls in. So overall quite happy with that, let's work on the flooring and then probably the bathrooms for both areas. So, like I said, this area is up. Oh, that's actually painted wrong. Let me go ahead and sort that forest mist. Uh, we will go ahead and get ourselves some painting. I'm actually going to turn off the lights as well because it's really, really bright uh, in this area. And that's uh, that's not a bad thing at all. It just is what it is. So, there is... I mean, look at that. That looks like two different colours, doesn't it? It's just because of the, because of the lighting. Anyway, we have all of this to sort in terms of the flooring. So, let's look at the flooring. My idea is that this would be a workshop and maybe have like a, a little seating area in this corner perhaps, but it means that the flooring has to be hard wearing but not like really industrial. Um, the, I mean the bathroom will s be similar to that where it'll, it'll be clean but it won't be industrial. Um, or rather very, very industrial, we'll see. Whereas downstairs will be quite uh, quite nicely furnished. But we'll look over at flooring and to... You've also got rugs as well. I'm very tempted, or what I was tempted to do, is use some things like the... Uh, and the different panels. Have like, this is left as concrete, but then have like maybe a walkway around here that's been carpeted. But I don't know what that would look like. I think we're just going to have to try it. The big problem that we have is that I don't think this flooring here can be replicated. Um, oh no, there's industrial smooth concrete. Um, so yeah, you can actually put concrete in there. So actually that changes things, we can. Um, let's go ahead and add in, as I said, for the bathroom. There's mosaic hexagons. Hexagons are the bestigons and are... And a rin oh no, maybe not. Uh, I need I need it to look fairly plain in there. So white porcelain tiles, and that's white porcelain mosaic. Uh, herringbone pattern is that a bit too fancy for a little sort of workshop bathroom? I think it is. Uh, we could <laughs> go for the pink bathroom again. Uh, that's the old school ceramic white and grey tiles there, which um, that actually. I don't mind that, actually. That's not too bad. It's a bit old-fashioned, but then again, the bathroom will be old-fashioned. Hmm. Ceramic grey tiles. What do they look like? No, we're focusing on this. Let's focus on this first. So, what would be best for the centre? Well, we would probably use things like a dark industrial grey. Maybe that will be alright. So, basically where the car would be, that would be that colour. Something like that. Let me do this section as well. Um, and then the, maybe the bits around the outside would be different. And what would that be? Could go with like a porcelain tile like that. I mean, that might look quite nice. It just takes a little bit of time to do, but let's see what it's like. I'm actually doing the full thing because I want to see what it looks like now I like that I like sorry I like the idea of that I don't like the I don't like the actual choice of tile let's see if the car fits in nicely it does fit in nicely that's pretty much the length we need it's also in need of a bit of a power wash that's about right maybe a little bit further maybe a little bit larger so let's let's maybe change only maybe change the length maybe a little bit longer but also 
We'll definitely change the outside because I don't. I'm not a big fan of that. So it is grey. Um, I think only two more. Maybe one, one more, two more. Go with two more. We'll be a bit generous because obviously you'll need to clean things up and whatnot. Um, for the tiles around the outside, we've got like checker plate and these things. And we can go for this light grey tread plate. I don't think that would look very nice at all. No. Although this, it, that would probably look a bit better, wouldn't it? In the centre. That looks better. Perhaps the dark grey though. Rather than the bright one. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. What else can we go with around the outside? Um, we're looking at these tiles again. Ceramic white tiles. Let's try these. See what these look like. Is that what we had down when we started? <laughs> it might be. And yes, I know I'm spending a lot of money, but we've got a lot of money to spend. Um, okay, I think that's the idea. Just perhaps not that exact execution. We could go with like a green tile. Like that. Or would that be a bit too old school for this place? Well, actually, I don't mind that. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yeah, I do mind it. Okay. It, as soon as you go there, it's a bit too much, isn't it? Scarlet red. This might be a bit too bright. Mm. Don't truly despise it. You know what's not bad? I reckon it might be better if we use the this grey and light grey. Maybe if we use the light grey. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I think I will put another row in there. Let's get the car in, see what that looks like. It actually matches the car as well. Well, not the, doesn't exactly match the car, does it? But yeah, all right. We're going with that. It's not great. Must confess, it's uh, not fantastic, but it's good enough for our needs, I think. All right, let's go ahead and I think we're going to work on the bathroom because, like I so said, we do flooring and we'll work on the bathroom in here. So we're going to close that door and we need to do the. It's going to be the outside, so it'll be for the walls and then. We could do wall panelling. Unlikely though. No. We'll go for wall tiles. So we've got mosaic. We've got these polished porcelain. I think just go very much... Go for, go with the basic. Absolute basics. Um, ceramic tiles white. Standard or white. I think they're just... Are they just prouder? I don't know what the difference is. Oh yeah, there's like a, they're a bit more raised up than ones. Okay, fine. Mm. Oh, that's old school, isn't it? <laughs> that's old school workshop bathroom. Um, we've got those on the floor. I mean, I think it's just overcomplicating it. Let's just go for something like that. Let's go for that. See what that looks like. And. Tiling. Pick these up. Obviously, some of these walls have not got anything on them at all. So it'll take us a little bit of time to do. It is, after all, like, say, a workshop bathroom, so it'll do the job. I could even do it red now that I think of it, so it uh, flows through from the other area. That's not a bad idea, actually. I'll look at doing that. See what it's like. I've also put there's two light switches in. So I put one in myself. I'm not realising there's already one there. Or maybe just forgetting. There we are. And nothing in this bathroom will be, I would assume, very very fancy or really of great interest, you know. It's not gonna have like it's not going to be a talking point, unlike the previous bathroom, which was a symphony in purple and pink. 
this is just a place to get the job done. Washing your hands, cleaning up, you know, if you've been working on the car or other things in the garage. Yeah, that sort of stuff. So we'll be able to fit in a shower in this corner, which we didn't have originally. Uh, the the plumbing was in, but they'd, uh, the previous owner hadn't even bothered fitting one. Let's go for our timing and panelling. Yeah, I say I was thinking about going with a old school workshop look, and having you know these greys and like beigey type colours where it's it used to be probably quite white, but now it's starting to go like a mustard colour because <laughs> of all the dirt and grime. But then maybe we we'll go the opposite and have it like you know very very tidy, very very precise and kept. Um, I'm going to, let's like, say, look at the ceramic tiles for this and see what the red floor looks like. Um, I don't think it works. No. To be fair, I'm not even too sure of the red. I'm, I think I'm going back on the idea of the red. Let's take another look at the floor and see what other tiles we could perhaps go for. Got some old school ones. Herringbone pattern. Got some blue. Ceramic tiles brown. That looks like a trip hazard. I mean, that one did work. That one, no. They're a bit more interesting. Thought those just look like you're going to slip over on them. Should try the herringbone. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to work. We'll give it a go. Um Does it? I have to do the lot before I can start the side, really. I don't mind it, but we're just getting we're getting devoid of all color now. And I'm wanting contrast. Could go old school. Contrast with this. Mm. I said I want to avoid the old sort of workshop look. Yet. It just seems to fit better. Mm. Is that the lightest one they've got for that floor? It is. It is the lightest. Do we change that to the darker one then? It's flopped between it. I've done it multiple times, but does that work? I think that's a bit better. Yeah. As, as much as I'm trying to make it look a bit more modern, it just doesn't seem to fit. Whereas this one, well, it's still clean. It's just old school workshop -y type thing. Okay, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that because otherwise we'll be here all day. So, let's go ahead and check out the bathroom and accessories. We've got shower car, we've got showers and all sorts of stuff. There's the Denton shower, which is the sci-fi one. We've got all manner of things we can put in but basically we're going to go with the very very um cheaper stuff i guess you, you know very utilitarian that's the mountable shower omni and um, we've also got this corner shower let's see what the corner shower size is corner shower is not even fitting in um i have to unscrew these i thought i thought they were actually already unscrewed but apparently not to be fair it was never used so that makes perfect sense so the corner shower will go in and it's actually a decent size let me check the this other one this omni that's actually a bit larger isn't it but do i want the corner one i'll check this other one as well that is actually a bit smaller I don't know whether I want that corner one in. Because it goes right up against it. It goes right up against the wall. Or do I want to go with the square one? 
that one. I think we'll go with the square. So put all of the panels in and there you go. That's it. Simple as you like. Uh, is that... Let's sell it. Let's try the corner one. There we go. Similar fitting. Corner sections and two doors. Nah, that just seems to fit in better, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to stick with that one then. So, toilet. Oh, toilet sign. <laughs> yeah, we'll put one of those in. There is a interestingly <laughs> shaped toilet. Hmm. Mountable toilet. Simple as you like. There we go. Assemble that. Turning bolts. Assistant. Toilet seat and lid. And let's go ahead and put toilet sign. It's a bit small, isn't it? There you go. And we'll have a toilet roll holder. Sadly, this one is always annoys me that you can get these toilet roll holders. But the toilet roll holders themselves either don't come with toilet roll or they end up having um let's just put some toilet roll stack down there yeah they don't come with toilet roll or the uh i think the only other option with toilet roll is in it's in um gold which just doesn't work yeah that one anyway let's go for sinks this time and Again, we're going to go with something very basic. Sink with cabinet. No, that's more for the kitchen. There's nothing stopping us using a kitchen one. But I think we'll stick with a toilet. Do I want a white wood one like that? Does that... No, that doesn't work. Yeah, we're just going to go with basic mountable sink. And we'll mount it there. So assemble that. Got the rods that go into the wall. Washer and nut. Whatever those are. Regulators of some kind. Or are those just... Oh, they're isolators. So you don't have to turn the water off. Potentially. Mix a tap. All these sleeves. And the pipe work. And there we go. We'll put a mirror in. And it will be simple as you like. Oh, it's a bit too large, that one. It's massive, in fact. There you go. Mirror. In like so. And I'm going to type in cleaning. There's nothing in there. We'll go with accessories, then bathroom, and see what accessories we'd have in here. There is these, like, hangers. Yeah, nothing wrong with something like that. Like a... That there, maybe? Yeah. And we've got this whole wall as well to do something with. Soap. It's a bit too, a bit too posh for this bathroom. And so, sadly, we can't put it there. Uh, I think we need a shelf in, don't we? We need some sort of shelf. I'll continue going through to see if there's anything in particular that I I like. See, it's again, it's a bit too... For a workshoppy type bathroom, that's already getting a bit too fancy. It needs to be the bare bones. There's a metal towel rack. Let's go with a metal towel rack. Nothing wrong with that. Don't have any towels in, but I'll place a metal towel rack there. Obviously, it's all adding to it. That's probably a bit too fancy for in here as well. Well, they're not particularly. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, let's go for radiator. Towel radiator. And so, do we really want it in here? Or do I just put a standard radiator in? I think we're just going to put a standard radiator in. 
radiator plumbing system. There we go. And we'll place that in. It's a big radiator for this <laughs> for this bathroom. It is a very, very large radiator for the size here. But it seems to be more fitting with... Oh, God, look how close that is to that. No, don't like it. Sell it. Get it gone. Um, I think we're gonna, we are going to have to go with this then, sadly. Didn't want to. But uh, I guess it is what it is. Mountable. This is a towel radiator. And put all those in. And there we go. That's in. That's that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Is there anything we can put in the bathroom that we would really want? Um, we'll go for accessories again and a bathroom. We've got some of this stuff. I mean, toothpaste, hairdryer. We need a shelf, don't we? So, furniture and... No. Where is it then? Installations? I'll just type shelf. And... Is that a shelf that can go in? No, it's terrible. She wants something that can go there. There's a shelf module. I mean, you're going to end up banging your arm off it, aren't you, really? Tell you, I'll pick that up. The towel hook can go there, next to the towel radiator. This can go in there, and I want to go to... Accessories, bathroom. I mean, we'll have toothpaste. We'll have a toothbrush. We'll have some soap. And I think I want to go to this area. Um, not first aid. Actually, yeah, I will put a first aid kit in here. There you go. I think that's... Not terrible, although we shouldn't keep the supplies like that in the open. Don't think we need a machine gun in the bathroom. Not convinced. Uh, <laughs> and we've got all of these different things. Food containers, generators. I'm looking for... I can't actually find it. There's like a... It must be in here then. There's like a sort of green container that I think it's for cleaner. Protection. No. Supplies. Mm, I don't know where it is. It's all supplies. In other. Is it in other? Just gonna have a quick scroll down to see what I've gone in here. No, I can't see anything. All right, well that'll do for now. That is that bathroom uh, done. The sun's actually set by the time we've done it, but it is a very basic one. That's all that we need to do. Right downstairs, bit of a different beast this because, as I said, this one is going to be a lot more fancy because um, it's gonna be like a really nice place for them to uh, come. We're gonna change the lighting. We're gonna change the flooring. And let's do a lot of that now. I'm very tempted to get rid of that and put a bath in here. Let's have a quick look. So bathroom, and we'll scroll down. We can see we've got these different size baths, which I think we should be able to fit one in. There's an oval bathtub. Would it be able to fit in there? Oh, I think that would be able to fit in there. Let's go ahead and sell that. I know this is a bunker, but, you know, I like the idea of this, uh, this place having a bath. Let's go for bathtub plumbing system and place it in there. Unscrew those. And that's now in. And then we'll take a look at the bathtub. So we've got these different types of bathtubs. Have we got... Oh, wasn't the one where you could... It's like both. It's a bathtub and a shower together. Have I just made that up? I thought there was one in the game. Sadly, I cannot see it. All right. I mean, this one, I think, that one has a shower head on it. 
What colour do we want this to be? We could go with... Ooh, an avocado bathroom. That's old school. Oh, yellow. Let's go, let's go with a mustardy yellow type of look. And Okay, this bathroom's a little bit larger than I'd anticipated. Admittedly, this is just the assembly bit. And I can't assemble it. <laughs> it's so large, I'm not able to assemble it. The reason that is the case is I'm not able to click because the camera... What on earth? The camera was going through the wall. <laughs> the camera was going through the wall and we weren't able to build that. And then somehow it managed to glitch right out. Um, if you notice though, what I'm doing here, and this is something I um, only recently figured out, there you go, is every time you assemble a section and then press escape, if you can't do it, what will happen is that you will complete that step and then it will close so you can pretty much click on it and if you don't have access, well if you don't have the room to click on it because of the camera um, you can just do what I've done there which is press escape and then it fits it and then you do that and then oh don't say it's the last hurdle it's gonna fail me on no oh no it is it is actually moving you can see that and there we go there is the bath in and it really is too large for that space isn't it it's far too large okay sadly after all that I am gonna have to sell it but let's put in let's see let's see what that one another mustard one and is that again far too large it's massive it's far too large for for that bathroom so we're just gonna have to go with either this one which is much more reasonably sized. Or this oval one. I think the oval one. Let's try this one. And at least I'm allowed to build it this time. It's letting me. <laughs> I don't think they anticipated someone trying to put a bath in a bunker. But we're mavericks, of course. Fill all that up. And then the mixer tap. And a side panel. That's in. Seems to fit quite nicely. Oh, it's not even up the right on the edge. So, <laughs> right. All right. I know the prepper as well. He said, I don't need a bath. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Do we need a bath? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's huge. It, it, these bathtubs are massive. It's just going <laughs> to... Imagine just opening that up and you see that bathtub that size you're thinking who on earth ordered this <laughs> someone didn't check the measurements when they ordered this did the i mean that's old school that one i really like the one with the shower bits attached to it though but i just think we're gonna have to put up and shut up right i'm just gonna work to the edge here this is the square one and i think that's in i think part of it was uh, not correct there, but whatever. So, put the plug in, seal that up. There's the overflow. Connecting up the waste, and then finally the tap. And then the side panel, and it is actually up to the edge there. All right, that's much better. Cool. Right, um, I should probably focus on the the walls. So, flooring, well, flooring and the walls. We'll check a look at the walls and wall panels. Is there any panels that would be nice in here? That is avocado. Some nice colours. That's like a nice yellow, an orange. Stone wall cladding. Oh, that's a bit old school. Let's go for tiles. I really like the look of those sort of ones there. I'm going to have decided to have one wall with those type of tiles and the other ones with standard ones. If I was going to go with that though, what would complement it? 
There's like a yellowish colour. That's going to look really old fashioned though, isn't it? And there's an orange. <laughs> Do I really want to put orange tiles in here? Mixed with that. It'll be another talking point. Let's put a stack of them in, shall we? You know what I'm going to do first? Put some proper lighting in, actually, because I can hardly see. Lamps. Ceiling lamps. And... These circular ones. In... Dark, yeah. Oh, that's massive! And it's also... It's got a, a nice colour temperature. A warming colour temperature, really. But I think we're going to go with the old school. Halogen mini lamp. So, from the edge. There. And I should say by many, actually. And there. There. And... About there. Much better. And I think they're about in line. Apart from maybe that one, which should go across a bit. And that one, actually. What I'm doing, I'm lining it up with that seam there. And that seam. They're about right. And that's about right. It technically needs to go along a bit, but... There we go. That'll do. Right, let's see what this looks like. And I'm going to guess, absolutely horrible. Um, I'll put those tiles down. Let's see what this looks like. Because I want... Um... Oh, good grief. <laughs> yeah. As I said, I want that wall as the other one. Is it just a thing now that we're making hideous bathrooms? It's possible. It's very possible that we're making hideous bathrooms. Let me put those tiles down. Um, and we're going to work on these other tiles. So, once again, over to walls and wall tiles. Scroll down. We'll get these ones. This is like a... These are brown. So, pick that up. And let's see what this looks like. All right. I quite like those tiles, actually. Don't like the orange. Really don't like the orange. Orange is not happening. This is happening, I think. At least at the moment it's happening. There we go. That's alright. That, not so much. So I'll put those tiles down. I'll sell those. And what would complement that. A lighter colour, I'm guessing. I could go with them them ones, but I think it would be too much. That's a classic brown. Would classic brown work? Well, helps if I buy some, doesn't it? There you go. Let's see what classic brown looks like. Uh, I didn't realise it had that bit in the middle. So, I can confirm what does it look like? Terrible. Uh, sell. <laughs> Let's see about doing another type of tile. Not going to go with those or those. Mm. It's like a two-tony type of tile. Let's try that. Oh, hang on. We might have something... I think we've got something going on here. Alright. Let's do the rest of this. See what that looks like. Oh yes. That is happening. I mean, it looks like... Someone's tried to... Make what you may see in a fancy restaurant, but has not actually been in one. Um, it's like someone described over the phone. Oh yeah, it's... it's yeah, it's... <laughs> I don't know. Is this the sort of thing you would see in Beverly Hills or a council estate when people don't have much money? I think it's probably the former. But as I've not been there, I would not have a clue. 
But we're not going to be too concerned about what others are doing. I'm just going to get these tiles down. And we'll call this bathroom, well, walls and ceilings wise, the job done. Not as much light in as I expected. By the way, I'm still going to keep the industrial fittings for the switches. I thought that even though it's a bunker and we obviously are trying to make it modern, you would want it very robust. There's, there's no reason why you can't have it looking nice, but also extremely um, robust and functional. I don't think those two are mutually exclusive. Oh, I like that. That is very nice. Um, we'll do the flooring as well, and I'm hoping we can have these porcelain tiles in. Uh, flooring, floor tiles. Yes, we can. Bye now. So... There it is. Oh, yes. Nice. We're going to stick with that. Okay, let's put in the toilet. Uh, so it'll be bathroom. And we'll go with... Go with something like that. Yep. A bit more modern than the one upstairs, but that is all what we're after here. Nice. And then the sink. So again, we'll look for something a bit more modern. That's not really modern, is it? And the orc doesn't really go either. Soft maple. What if there's a wood that complements this wall? That might do it. What's this look like? We'll give it a go. We can always sell it. I mean, realistically, people would have to live with the decisions <laughs> instead of going, nope, and then getting rid. But we have the cash. Um, I don't mind it. But I'm also not totally convinced. Could you go straight up with the white wood? What else do we, what else do we have? That's... Old fashioned dish. But would that work in this case? I don't think so. I'm certainly not going to put that in. <laughs> See, I think that's just a kitchen. Is that a kitchen one? The base, which we've currently got, is white. Let's try that one. What does that look like? I actually quite like that. Um, let's try that. Assemble. For some reason it wasn't assembling properly. Oh, I like that. You've got this cutout at the back where you connect the fittings in. That's a nice bit of attention to detail there. Nice. So, put all of these in. It doesn't seem to be uh, wanting to do some of that fully. Is that alright? It's not bad. It's not perfect, though. That is not going to work out. Would it even fit in? It would not. It would fit in on that side, though, wouldn't it? Do we want to put it on that side? I'm going to sell that for a start. Put it there or put it there. I think where it was is fine. So it's just getting the right sink. Let's see what that would potentially look like if it was in. Oh, it would fit in as well, wouldn't it? Let's try it. You don't know until you know. We'll give it a go. And see what it's like. Like I said, if it works, it works. If not... For some reason, this is not placing it sometimes. Now that works. That's fine. Why is that a different colour? Have you noticed that? <laughs> Those seem to glow compared to that. And I have no idea why. Okay, let's just continue on. So, mirror. I might change that bath to the, the rounder one. We're going to go with this one, actually. Yeah, we'll go with that one because it's got a light in it. No, we won't. Don't like that. Different uh, 
colour to what we've got there. I wonder what that size is. that big? Yeah, that's fine with that. I like the fact that it had light in, but it didn't really light up. It wasn't the right uh, colour. Back over to bathroom then, and we don't have a washer in here, or a clothes dryer. I mean, would that round bath be better for this place? Maybe. I may come back and change that bath. Like, like right now. Um, bye now. And I'm just going to have to stand up here, because I want to make sure that I can get it huh. in the right place. Let's assemble this then. Yeah, for some reason when I'm left clicking, sometimes it isn't left clicking. And is that my mouse or is that the game? I'm hoping it's the latter. I'd rather not have them be looking for another mouse. Uh, there we go. Connect all that. Let's see what this looks like. Is it going to look better or is it going to look worse? I'm definitely happy with the walls and flooring though. So there's that. Um, yeah, that fits in better. But sadly, it's just for some reason the colour's well off and I do not know why. Either way, back over to bathroom. We've had a look through most of that. So there'll have to be decorations then. Uh, we've already got mirrors in. Don't want to put any paintings in yet. That'll probably be another pass. We'll put in... I don't think there's equipment. Oh yeah, we do need to put some toilet rolls. Um, toilet. We'll go with the toilet roll holder here. A bit fancier one. Which can go in... I think it can go in here. Yes, it can. That's fine. Sadly, the toilet roll will just have to be sort of dumped down. Actually, no, it won't because we have... Oh, they don't open. Well, that's a shame. I was going to say, if those could open, we would uh, be able to put in a couple of the loo rolls around. But that'll do us for now. Put them in the put them in the drawers and stuff and in the cupboard. What else do we need? Other... Don't need a sign. Don't need any of these surfboards or dream catches or aquarium stuff. That's fine. A couple of candles maybe, but that's a later on problem for us. And... Doors and equipment, no. Decorations, no. I think that... Accessories, bathroom. Maybe one of those. Dark towel yeah, with a white wrong bit there. Yeah, it's alright. Getting there now. Oh, these hangers. I forgot about these. These are really nice. I think I'm going to stick with that, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's much better. We'll put in there and sell the other one. Although I might move it a little bit further because I haven't put the radiator in. So it would be towel radiator installation. It doesn't really matter where you place it as long as it's roughly in the right location because then you get to you get to sort of figure out where it's going to go and then you place it. We haven't even got a water heater or any central heating system in the uh, in the place yet. But there's that. This one, ideally, would like to go right underneath it. Perfect. Seems to sit well. Okay, not too bad at all. There is, obviously, these walls here with nothing there. We haven't got the three seashells, so I don't know if there's anything else we need in there for now. Um, a rug would be nice. Let's just have a quick look at that. So, floorings, rugs, and I'm just scrolling down to see if there's anything that... Makes me go, oh yeah, that's not too bad. Brown rug in medium. That's not medium. Massive. Um, patterned rug. Good grief. Beige rug. I mean, it's the size of the bathroom. That's not a rug. <laughs> um... That's not bad, but it doesn't really fit. Just something just go around there would be nice. Just 
to colour drug. No, you've only got you've got minimum minimum colours for some of these. I think the diamonds we've seen before as well. And gold. Oh, good grief. I guess maybe a medium size? No, maybe a large then. I mean, just, that just seems like a tripping hazard, doesn't it? Although there's not bad. No, 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 no. Not working. And that's a massive rug. I think we will be giving up on this one shortly. One more attempt. Now they're all about the same size and they're all the really big thick ones that I don't think would really work in here. Are we just putting it in for the sake of it? Not really. I would genuinely like one in. And we're onto the old, old, the old stuff where it's just rug grey. I'd say green flowers. Oh yeah, there's some like little vines on it and stuff. Okay, not going to bother. Um, I would like a rug in there, but haven't found it, the one I want, so we will uh, probably call that job done. Okay, there is still more to do in here, but we're doing a first pass on things before anything else. So I think we will leave it there for now. Not a bad one at all. We have managed to get the flooring done in here, which yeah, I'm fairly happy with. It's, it's okay. And obviously we've done the bathroom, which is very clean but basic and then obviously downstairs where the main sort of living part of this is it's uh, <laughs> a bit more fancy maybe over the top but that's what we're going for down here either way we'll leave it there next episode we will crack on and as always see how we get on i think we'll probably focus on furnishing in here i think would be a good start and then obviously start working down either way i hope you have enjoyed it thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings